And that Vatican priest was absolutely correct. This is a war that is going on, folks. And the question is, you know, if a Vatican priest can see it and start speaking out about it, what is the matter with the people in the general public out there? Every single problem that we have, every good thing, every bad thing, everything that humankind has ever done ultimately came from the spark of an idea in a single consciousness. Life is an emotional mirror. It's an emotional mirror. If you put yourself in the emotional state where the prayer has already been answered, then you attract that reality to yourself. You try to say that to people and they say, oh, this is all new age stuff. And no, it's not, you know, your life itself is a prayer. There's an electromagnetic conversation going on between you and reality that a lot of people don't understand is going on. And when I changed my perspective and I realized that it's an emotional mirror, like even how I got the job as a radio host, I figured it would be good to be a radio host because I'd be able to get this information out to people. I didn't even know about internet radio, didn't know about any of that stuff. And I had this meditation, I realized everything is an emotional mirror. So I simply put myself in the emotional state where I was a radio host it's just like uh, what would it be like to be with your perfect partner put yourself in the emotional state how would that actually feel to be with your perfect partner you put yourself in that state and that person will walk into your life and that's what i did i put myself in the emotional state where i was a radio host and within six weeks i was offered a job as a radio host by someone completely random didn't do anything at all but just put myself in the emotional state so it's that same thing and since then i give unconditionally i give when my intuition tells me to give sometimes i'll buy the shopping of the person next door to me because my intuition tells me i need to buy this person's groceries. I did that one time and this woman burst into tears. She said it was her, she was down to her last $20. She's never had anyone do anything so kind to her. I'd restored her faith in humanity. And this sort of stuff happens. And because I give to people unconditionally, the universe has provided this life for me. It's given me this place. It's given me the ability to be able to continue this message. This is how it works. I've often said on, on the show, um, Truth is subjective depending on what you want to believe and that belief is the enemy of knowledge. These are two really important things and something else I've always said is that you can have no stake in the outcome. So a lot of the stuff that I've said in the shows, I mean I've known it to be true but, I don't know, you know, but I've never really known why I said it and known the significance of why I've been saying that but, but now I do. You know, a lot of things have been made clear for me. But um, how can, how can you have a globe and how can you have a flat and how can you have a holographic universe? Because that, that's the reality. I mean, the globe universe or the globe earth, the flat earth, the holographic universe, the fractal universe, the electric universe, they all fit together and they all exist, coexist at the same time. Now, I'm going to try to explain to you how that works at the moment. The earth that we live on is a globe. It's a beautiful globe earth. But the Earth that we operate on is also flat, and I'm going to try to explain this to you, how it works, you know, because again, it, it depends on what you believe. Belief is subjective, you know, truth is subjective depending on what you want to believe. And you can have two truths, it depends on what your belief system is. And, you know, and it looks at how virtual reality is cre created as well. I mean, we think it's going to be all these computers we build and they're going to transfer our consciousness into a mainframe and rah, rah, rah. Yeah, they are. That's what they want to do. But the question is, how are they going to do that? You know, is it going to be hooking us up with SCART plugs or something? Or is it just going to be done with Wi-Fi? You know, because that's the way it's going to be done, folks. Because that's what they tried to do with me on Saturday night. But I'd, I'd looked at the whole thing with, with Flat Earth and Globe Earth. And I thought, well, hang on. Both are possible. The Earth is a globe, yes. The Earth is flat, yes. And they can both coexist at the same time. And as soon as I uploaded that video, they thought, wow, we've got him, and they hit me, but I, I don't believe either one. I can see the truth in each one, but I don't believe either one. So I think they kind of missed out with That's why I missed the right, and I'm glad I missed the right. But, and I'm, I told you, Faisal, this is really convoluted, but I've kind of, I've figured out what the truth movement's been all about. And it's not about what we think it is. It's actually been a trap to try to get us into the mainframe, which they're going to do with Wi-Fi, which was what they tried with me on Saturday night. And they sell it to you as a planetary alignment, and they sell it to you as ascension, but really it's not ascension. It's taking your consciousness and putting it into the mainframe, and you won't be able to tell the difference because of all the awareness we've been putting into the mainframe. 
I'm going to read you something here, and it's uh, a passage from um, a, a book by Carlos Castaneda. And you know, whether you like Castaneda or not, folks, I mean, this is really important. It's probably one of the most important things, or the most important thing that was written in any of the Castaneda books. And it talks about the predator mind, and I often recommend it to people. Look at this, I think I recommended it on my discombobulated talk the other day, that people read the predator mind. It, it's so important, folks, because this is the way through the puzzle. You know, because the reality is that there, there's a predator here. There's a, everybody is under mind control, folks. We've got this, this thing that makes us have wars all the time. You know, no matter how much we try to fix the world, we never get it fixed. No matter how much we try to fix the world, we never get it fixed because the people that are running the world are completely overtaken by this predator mind. And this is, is, is what has caused all of these problems. And when we try to fix these problems, you know, we, we search for a way out. We're not realizing how the predator works and what the predator is. I need to read you a little bit out of this, uh, this passage by Don Juan, what he says. He calls this the topic of topics, the predator mind. And I've got to go through this so you'll understand how, how all this works, folks. Trust me on this. The predators, he says, they took us over because we are food for them and they squeeze us mercilessly like because we are their sustenance. Just as we rear chickens in chicken coops, the predators rear us in human coops. Therefore, their food is always available to them. I want to appeal to your analytical mind. Think for a moment and tell me how you would explain the contradiction between the intelligence of man the engineer and the stupidity of his belief systems or the stupidity of his contradictory behavior. It is the predators who have given us our systems of beliefs, our ideas of good and evil, our social mores. The predators are the ones who set up our hopes, our expectations and dreams of success or failure. They've given us covetousness, greed and cowardice. But things are getting crazier and crazier, folks, which is why I just thought I'd pop up and have a quick couple of words about what's going on. This isn't being done for your health, folks, and the level of propaganda is just through the roof. But they're really just trying to isolate people. You know, that's what all of this is about. Isolation, getting people scared of each other. So many people are scared. You know, I walk past some places, you know, I, I go out and I walk down the street and, and people literally move away if you haven't got them. It's really, really strange, folks. I mean, what in the hell is this? I mean, I don't know. If I had a trolley like that, if I had something come up and serve my meal like that, I'd probably kick the trolley over and just walk out of the restaurant in disgust. Thank you to everybody out there on the front line, and, and stay strong, folks.